Hi everyone and welcome, it's me, Joseph the Lycanroc Ranger. In today's video, I'm going to discuss how I think Ditto, a man-made and therefore probably invasive Pokemon, got to various places around the Pokemon world. So without any further ado, let's roll the intro and let's get started. So one quick thing before I get started, that being that works and images used will be in the description of the video. So firstly are the areas linked to Mewtwo in some way, due to the fact that I believe the theory that Ditto is a failed Mew clone. There will be a video mentioning this theory in the description of the video. So anyway, these easier to explain areas are the Pokemon Mansion, Cerulean Cave, and the Pokemon Village. Moving on to the areas that are slightly more difficult to explain are the areas where Ditto seemingly was present and then went extinct for whatever reason, these being routes 13, 14, and 15 in the Kanto region. I do not have much idea why they would be there, however they evidently did not last there as they are in none of the Johto games in those locations and only in some of the Kanto games there, like for example they're not in Let's Go there. With those more quick ones out of the way, we begin with Johto routes 34 and 35. I am of the opinion that Ditto's presence in these two routes is linked. One possibility is that they were brought to Route 34 to aid with the daycare due to the fact that Ditto is pretty helpful when using the daycare and then overflowed through Goldenrod City into Route 35. Another possibility is that they were brought to help with the radio tower in some manner, but I don't think that last option is super likely, I think it's more likely the first option. On to the other two Johto locations, Route 47 and the Safari Zone. I once again think that these two areas are linked, with Dodo Ditto being brought to the Safari Zone for either conservation, research, or entertainment purposes, and then somehow escaping onto Route 47. As for Hoenn, there is the Mirage Islands, and I'm going to say that Ditto's presence there is just due to Mirage Island weirdness shenanigans than anything else. On to Sinnoh, where Ditto can be found via Poke Radar on Route 218. I think this is potentially due to the TV station, as there is that one episode of Pokemon Journey showing Ditto being used in a movie, or it was brought there to help with this, either of the two big cities nearby and got out, but not in large quantities, hence why the population is lower and only accessible via Poke Radar though in my opinion the TV station option is more likely. There is also the Grand Underground in Sinnoh, and I think that Ditto was either brought there for conservation, research, entertainment, or on complete accident, as I'm of the opinion that the hideaways are man-made as a second safari zone of sorts. I have a slightly outdated video going more in depth on this theory in the description of the video. Then there is Unova, where Ditto can be found in the giant chasm. Frankly, I have no idea why Ditto would be here at all. So I am moving on. Following that, there is Kalos' Friend Safari, where I think Ditto were just brought for entertainment purposes. Then there is Alola, where Ditto can be found on Mount Hokulani. I think the most likely option here is that they were being used to research space in some way, and then broke out because Ditto. Finally, there is the Galar region, where I have absolutely no clue why they are near the Lake of Outrage of all places. And my best guess for the workout C is that they were brought there to help with training, potentially? So that is how I think that Ditto got to the various places it is present in the Pokemon world. Do you agree with my assessment, or do you have a different theory? Let me know in the comments down below. Do you have an idea about why Ditto is in the places where I have no clue? Let me know in the comments down below. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Bye!